for Subhanahu wa ta'ala with you. Uh, uh, let's talk today about vapor compression uh, refrigeration cycle. Uh, you have to specify your uh, destination folder. Okay, and uh, double clicking on your model. Okay, you, uh, your model should be appear like this. Let's go for view, model browser, check all of these buttons. And here. Okay, now everything is ready for uh, 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 modeling. Okay, vapor uh, cooperation uh, refrigeration cycle. Um, this is a simple module for uh, such technique of uh, refrigeration. Uh, we are not going to talk about the application or, the, or details or something like this. It's already known for uh, from literature or you can find its application but it's the main application is for ref, for refrigerations okay um our cycle contains um, four main units we have evaporator for uh, for load for refrigerant load and we have a compressor for gas compression in order to increase uh, the temperature and the pressure of, of the gas and we have all reserve refrigerant and we have condenser okay um, okay for heat uh, this is uh, high temperature and if it is low temperature then we have expansion expansion uh, expansion valve for uh, ex expansion processes in uh, wet region this is ts diagram for this process so the dynamic process we have evaporator compressor uh, condenser and expansion valve how can we deal uh, uh, this is a design model so we are going to investigate what is our lens area mass flow rate and so on so we need to discover the mass flow, flow rate of the cycle okay um, we have to assign some inputs suppose i am going for uh, we we currently we using um, refrigerant r134 a so you can add uh, many types of refrigerant if you would like you can discover the effect of uh, uh, many types of uh, of uh, refrigerant for this refrigeration process okay uh, this is just an example okay if you would like uh, from us to uh, add more refrigerant we you have to email us and we uh, would like to uh, share this with you okay uh, you can uh, find more uh, more information by visiting uh, you, our youtube channel don't forget to like share subscribe okay evaporator uh, suppose i'm going for uh, minus uh, 10 degree celsius as a refrigerant uh, temperature low temperature of the site this low temperature and for condenser unit I suppose I'm going for 35 uh, degrees Celsius uh, for load uh, how many refrigerant load uh, uh, you are going to uh, use suppose you are uh, you are you need to uh, uh, you have a massive store for uh, or cold storage for some uh, foods or something like this and you need to uh, use uh, a huge amount of lo refrigerant load so suppose we are going to go uh, dynamically by this and and see if we uh, changed our uh, refrigerant load uh, for condenser it's air cooled condenser so we need to assign uh, air temperature uh, I'm sorry air uh, tube diameter okay and um, uh, we have here uh, outer uh, evaporator coil diameter okay okay outer air and uh, evaporator the coil and uh, inner diameter Okay, and similar conductivity of the coil. What is the type of the coil? Is it is it copper, aluminium, whatever? whatever okay. Uh, compressor efficiency. Suppose it's around um, 0 
And uh, condenser efficiency, suppose it's around uh, 0 0.8 effectiveness. Uh, cooling fan efficiency, uh, suppose it's uh, 80%. Okay, now everything is fine. Okay, let's go uh, inside and see uh, what is going on here. Okay. Okay, uh, sorry, this is elite air temperature. T air N. Okay, elite air temperature. Okay, I have to add this from here. Going here, I have to close this. I'm going for control M. Okay, going to the parameters and add this parameter. Suppose it's a evaporator temperature condenser. Okay, um, let's go from here and uh, uh, suppose it's um, okay. Add another uh, slider, let, let it be a slider or dial. Okay, it's a dial. Uh, Elliot, Elliot air temperature and degree Celsius. And we have to name this parameter T air N. Okay, and let's go. It's uh, turn on from uh, a temperature from zero, let it be up to 50 degrees Celsius, for example. 50 degrees Celsius, and we have suppose it's uh, 25 degrees uh, Celsius. Okay, this is new current, new. And this is current, and this is a uh, new, okay, and this is current, uh, new, I have to change appearance, and this is current, hit apply, and let's see our, okay, okay, everything is adjusted, okay. Uh, so we have here, uh, I forget to, yes, so this is our cycle, okay, this is our cycle, as you can see here, uh, evaporator, and we have uh, compressor, condenser, and expansion valve, this compressor, we, we would like to, we would like to discover uh, mass flow rate of the cycle of the refrigerant, steam quality, drainage fraction, uh, evaporator power, area, and uh, length of the coil, and what is the coefficient of uh, performance, uh, what is the outlet uh, compressor and salby temperature power, and uh, for uh, condenser, outlet air temperature, cooling, air mass flow rate, air velocity, fan, air fan power, condenser power, thermal power, and condenser area, okay, okay, this is our uh, cycle, set your time to into infinity, okay, simulation time into infinity, and um, I have to go here and uh, double clicking, okay, that to prepare our uh, results, Okay, uh, go to simulation run, let's run our model and uh, try to change uh, our specified inputs in order to check uh, uh, its effect on uh, as a performance of the cycle. Let's go here, okay. Okay, I'm, I would like to change uh, the load, the refrigerant load, that's increasing. Uh, is uh, our refrigerant load I'm increasing okay I'm sorry let's uh, increasing the refrigerant load okay up to 20 ton okay uh, let's uh, decrease um, uh, air inlet air temperature to the condenser okay uh, condensation um, let's increase the refrigerant temperature up to um, 
zero from minus 10 up to zero okay and CS effect okay and uh, effectiveness let's keep effectiveness and hit stop and see uh, see our results okay so don't forget to check these uh, links like this and send it to uh, streaming so I have to check my results okay okay let's see um, okay what is the refrigerant mass flow rate as you can see here it's fluctuating up and down according to uh, controlling your uh, temperatures and uh, cooling load okay now steam quality this is dryness fraction okay it's around 0.3 from okay it's quite normal and this is steam quality here let's go to the cycle okay we are talking about point number four what is the dryness fraction so it's a dryness fraction and you can discover this from here uh, okay dryness fraction it's um is output number two and number one is uh, uh mass flow rate number two is dryness fraction so we have here it's point two uh, this is the last point uh, sol uh solver um last lots of iterations that we have okay uh thermal power to the evaporator area okay and this is area of what i have to uh, okay i have to say this is evaporator i have to reform this evaporator uh, area okay okay it will reform after we run the model again okay this is area uh, coil length this is evaporator coil length changing according to as you can see here the same behavior outlet compressor in Sulby this is outlet in Sulby decreasing uh, superheat temperature we are talking about point number um, uh, this is point number um, number two okay okay so we have here efficiency so it is not isentropic uh, point it's actual point because we have compressor efficiency compressor power okay rising and uh, decreasing let's go for formatting this from uh, 0 up to 50 and see okay up to uh, 35 okay this is compressor uh, power outlet cooling air temperature this cooling air temperature decreased uh, cooling mass air mass flow rate so the, uh, the condenser unit is from uh, 0 up to uh, 15 okay okay and air velocity cooling air velocity fan power for the air cooler condenser cooler from 0 up to uh, 20 okay this is uh, fan power uh, condenser power um, so yeah, yeah this is fan power and no I have to remove this I have to put condenser power we can put condenser power beside evaporator power okay and we can uh, because they are thermal it's from 0 up to 100 okay as you can see here compressor power uh, condenser power okay this is condenser area and coefficient of uh, performance uh, COP of the, of the whole cycle okay it's okay so you can easily discover your uh, outputs uh, it's quite interesting to find this out um, by using data inspector or you can go outside here in uh, your workspace and discover your outputs here as you can see here so you have many many uh, types of, uh, of uh, data extraction so you can uh, handle uh, this is our main cycle okay this is our cycle you can discover it uh, so this is 
instantaneously outlet with the result through the condenser. Okay, I, I can go uh, shrinking this a little bit. Okay, so this is outlet air temperature, uh, cooling air mass flow rate, uh, air velocity. This is from the condenser unit. Okay. So finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model. It's quite easy for you to uh, read to go by uh, manual uh, calculations or uh, to handle it by your by yourself. You have uh, to go through uh, a symbolic model. It's quite interesting, easy, and it's fully editable, so you can add or remove. Uh, your uh, inputs or outputs and uh, uh, you, you can edit it uh, very easily and uh, you can co a copy or pass this cycle in order to make two cycle working a uh, parallel or series for high rate of uh, uh, refrigerant load uh, thank you finally i would like to thank you very much don't forget to like uh, share and subscribe Thank you.